want to say we just hit 400 subscribers on this channel. Um, we are now over a little bit over 400 not when I look last for the new subscribers, for the people that have constantly been sending me messages of encouragement and DMs on Instagram, all that stuff. I really, really appreciate it and I just want you to know that your words and stuff mean a lot to me. But this is just the beginning of what I'm trying to do on this channel. You're going to see a lot of basketball content, a lot of game day vlogs, a lot of basketball vlogs essentially. But I'm also going to do vlogs when I travel as well because the point of this channel is to just show you my experience as a basketball player overseas and that obviously involves traveling, that involves basketball of course, that involves culture. I want to share all that as much as I can. So I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. I um, just want y'all to know that I really, really appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. And I don't say that lightly. Keep subscribing, keep watching the videos all the way to the end. Keep liking the videos, keep sharing the videos. It does a lot of good on YouTube for me and the algorithm. I really appreciate y'all. Today is an exciting day because first home game means first superstition trials. I'm a very superstitious person. I always like have a routine on game day that I try to stick to. So trying that out today. In a few minutes, I'm gonna eat some breakfast. And then after that, I'm heading to the arena for shooting around to prepare for the other team. So I'm feeling a little bit, feeling a little bit better today because we have our new player and we kind of have our team flowing a little better now that we have everybody in their true position. As y'all know, I was playing out of position for the last two games and wasn't doing so well. But now, hopefully today, I get to play my position, do what I do best. Um, so I'm excited for that and I feel really good about that. And it's game day, so I always feel good on game day. So, gonna eat my breakfast. After that, come back, go to the store, get some stuff for lunch. I'm ready to go, it's game day. So I'll see y'all in a bit, let's go. Take y'all in there once I get changed and stuff. See y'all in a few minutes. Um, inside the arena. Get some meat, some pasta for my pregame meal, and relax for the rest of the day. Gotta take a nap, so you know what it is. All right, so I uh, took a detour. So this is officially a part of the game day rituals. It is. Um, what do you I got a coffee here. Hold up. Got a little coffee right here. Um, here, then I got a croissant and a little cookie. Now, I don't really like cookies. And yeah, she's probably gonna be like, bro, what are you eating on game day? Now, this is what's in plant, but now that it's in the plant, it happened, I can't turn back now. 
So every game day, this is what I have to eat. But I still need to go to the store. Well, I'll be honest with y'all. I don't really know if I want to cook today. I might just order something or go somewhere and sit down and reflect on the day and maybe have a nice little pre-game meal. We'll see. I think, I, I think I'm leaning more towards cooking because I can get some chicken. I have some pasta. So we'll see. But I'll let y'all know what I do. Probably going to get some pasta. I'll cook something. So that I can, you know, keep it healthy because I already eaten this cookie and stuff. So whatever. I don't know. It's a good day. Feeling good today. I feel like this is our day to get our first win. So gotta lock in, relax my body, just chill. I got my ice in my bag. So I'll just relax, eat my little my little snack and be ready to go later. I'm excited. See y'all in a bit. I know I got a little bit of sweat on my hair. Mind your business. Just thought and I could have went to a restaurant, but I decide not to, so I'm, I'm responsible. So, got my chicken breast, got some pesto, so I'll have some pasta, some salad for my cream bean meal. I got a monster, because I always usually drink one of those. Don't judge me, I ain't trying to hear it, but I like those. And it's always been my pregame thing since I was in Spain. So, I'm continuing that. Gonna cook it up a little bit later. Have to eat my snack still, drink some coffee and Relax for the rest of the day, get the body right for the game. Hey yo, it's like two o'clock. Number what? Leave in the comments something for me to do to add to my game day. I can't be laying down all day on game day. I already take a walk, I done snack, get a little snack. I play my piano and it's only two. I have to be at the at the gym at seven. Ah, uh, pray for me. Send me something to do and leave something in the comment for me to do, please. Two hours later. All right, y'all. Up for my nap. Uh, I got some food here now. Got my pesto pasta. Got a little bit of basically lettuce. These ain't really salads. Ain't nothing in it. And I got my monster right here. Yeah. So I'm about to eat this. Get ready. Clean up a little bit in here. Because I like to come home to a fresh apartment after games. Wish us luck today. I'll be picking it up once I get to the arena. Um, when we're getting dressed and getting ready to go. So hope you all enjoying this video so far. Keep watching. Stay tuned until the end. Thank you. So I came to the gym a little early to get some... Uh, extra shots up. I was gonna film it, but I wanted to listen to my music while I go so I could, you know, get ready for the game and stuff, so. Yeah, get some extra shots. Check in with y'all in a bit. I just finished shooting. I'm gonna get my stretches, my exercise before the game. Um, feel good, I can't lie, feel good. Shot is feeling okay today. Hoping I could get that going today, because first two games, have not hit a three yet, and that's unlikely. But I'm changing that today. Uh, we still got a little bit more time before game time. So just get my mind right, get my shot right, get ready for the game. Man. So first home game, I showed y'all around a little bit. It's time to lock in, man. Probably won't, honestly. I'll probably put my phone away just to be focused. Um, but I will see y'all during the game. I probably do a reaction to the game. I will see y'all though, um, and once the game is done and complete. Wish us luck, wish us luck, wish us luck. And thank you for tuning in so far to this episode two. Um, thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all in a little bit. Let's get it. So first thing, I didn't start in this game. I came off the bench, I think with about five minutes into the first quarter, 10 minute quarters um, in Europe, four, four quarters, 10 minutes each. Um, and uh, this was probably because I didn't have my best two games, um, and I and I have no problem with that. There's no knock on the coach or anything like that. I have no problem with that. I just wanted to focus on doing what I do best and bring some energy off the bench when I came in, and to just play my game at my pace because I know when I play hard, when I play the way that I play, I know what I can bring to the game. So that's exactly what I did this game. And let's watch. All right, first play. 
I set a screen right here, box out, offensive rebound, tipping. So that was my first play and it was already a good little energy play. Then I got a post touch, finished with the right hand. Got an assist right here from the play. Pretty good play because it sets a flare for one of our best shooters. I like it. Right here, this is Jeff hitting the three in the corner. Shout out to my boy Jeff from the last video. And then uh, Jeff gave me a pretty good entry pass because I, he saw that I was positioning myself to get the ball closer to the rim. I had the guy on my hip so I could just go to the rim. And then the help side came over from the back right here. And he came here to try to stop me and he ended up following me. And yep, yeah, so went to the free throw line. And thank the Lord, I hit both of my free throws. I usually don't have problems with my free throws, but I know, since I got here, I, I haven't been shooting my best free throws like in practice and stuff, but in the games I've been hitting them, so it's all that matters. So that's one and two, there we go. So this play here, this is the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter. And uh, the play was for me to be in the corner for them to basically do a full court play so that I could get a shot in the corner. But um, we had a lot more time than I guess we imagined. So I was able to get a um, pass from Alex here. Gave it to me and I just did a one dribble pull up and hit the shot at the end of the bundle. So that was cool. And then this play was just um, Quentin just being him. He's, he's a very good player, very good shooter, very good point guard, very composed player. Came through with a little, uh, a little reverse lay. Oh, I gotta pause this one. So this was probably a highlight of the night. Um, it was a hustle play by Gaetan, me and Toma. We were battling for the ball, but I look, and this looked like I wasn't battling so much actually. <laughs> I was just standing there, so I lied. So he um, got on the floor. Gaetan is a gritty player, fast player. He is, he's a very good player. When he plays under control, he's very, 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 very good. So he got the ball. He saw me instantly. I saw him. He see me see him. <laughs> and he passed it. And I had to make sure the whole place know, you know. That was a good that was a good little dunk and then three in the corner by me basically that was kind of like the cap on a good night right there for me uh, my last bucket of the night and just the uh, post game stuff you know and that guy here he's an American player who very good player very very good player I had to give him give him his props and stuff so he was very good um, and this is what we do after every game overseas. You huddle and then you clap and you thank the fans for coming. And the fans usually will, you know, show their love in their own special way. So that's usually pretty cool. But yeah, that's about it. Um, to wrap the game up, um, very good team win for us. I think that as a team, we played really well. We shared the ball really well. Defensively, I think we were locked in on our assignments and everything. And everybody know defense wins games and we were locked in. So that was really, really, really good. And on a personal note, had a really good night. I finished with about 17 points, seven rebounds, I think about two assists. I still had like two turnovers, which I don't love. So I'll still be trying to um, correct that as I go. Had two blocks and I had two steals as well. So. I was trying to do everything on both ends, just bring energy and it, it worked. So feels good, feels good. So that's kind of my post game little wrap up session. I am feeling good now that I get to play my position. I was playing the five um, early on, um, but now I'm playing the four in my position and I feel like I'm made more comfortable doing that. And so it feels good to be where I'm supposed to be and doing what I'm supposed to do. So like I said earlier, I know what I can bring to the game when I do what I'm supposed to do. So moving forward, it's just focusing on repeating what, what happened tonight, playing with energy, playing with focus, and just kill it. But yeah, once again, thank y'all so much for supporting. Thank y'all for the 400 subscribers. 
Keep subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you know anytime that I post. Y'all have a blessed day. Hope that y'all have a excellent, excellent, excellent week next week. Till the next video, I love y'all. Peace. It's a good game. Uh... Yeah! <laughs> okay, Gaetan. Let's yeah! go! First yeah! win, bro! First win of the season, y'all heard it right. Um, found my group, y'all. It was, it was a good game. As a team, we shared it. Oh, I, I guess what? I have a press interview, my first interview. Let's go. Yeah.